I'm Cheryl Kagan. I'm very proud to be the Senator for Gaithersburg and Rockville. I'm reporting today from the Senate office building where I just wrapped up my last 911 commission meeting. For the past four years, I've been chairing a statewide commission where we have passed extraordinary legislation that has put Maryland at the forefront nationally of 911 laws. In memory of my friend Carl Henn, the Rockville resident who was struck by lightning during a freak thunderstorm and later died when 911 failed. I have been working all the time <laughs> for seven years, but four years with some of the most extraordinary public safety personnel I've ever had the privilege to know. Police, fire, and paramedics are our first responders, but the courageous women and men under the headsets, listening to people having the worst day of their lives, need their, our support, and need new laws to offer them the encouragement, mental health, workers' compensation, tax credits, and symbolic recognition to make sure that they are seen as they totally are, as our first, first responders. I look forward to sponsoring six bills in January to continue our work to upgrade our 911 system to next generation 911 and continue to have Maryland be at the forefront of public safety legislation. Another very exciting thing I've been working on, uh, I always say that I fancy myself to be the senator for the nonprofit sector. In conjunction with Maryland nonprofits and the National Council of Nonprofit Organizations, I have created a national nonprofit legislative caucus with representatives from over 40 different states, legislators in the House and Senate who care as I do about our nonprofit organizations and want to work to make sure that they're dealt a fair hand legislatively. Too often we focus on small businesses, as we should, but we overlook our food pantries, our battered women's shelters, our literacy councils, our arts organizations, and all of those that have been struggling through COVID and need our support. So I'm looking forward to swapping ideas, sharing what we've already accomplished in Maryland, and learning what they're doing in Alaska or Connecticut or Louisiana and moving forward. I want to make sure that you are ready to vote in Gaithersburg. The mayor is seeking re-election. Judd Ashman has my support for another four-year term. And there are two vacancies on the city council and there are five talented candidates. Be sure to do your homework. You can vote early by mail. You can vote in person early or on November 2nd, you can show up in person. Please make sure that you are prepared to help pick the next leaders who will be my partners uh, on behalf of half of my district in Gaithersburg. And speaking of my district, this is the year that we are in the midst of redistricting. Both the congressional lines and the state lines are being modified to reflect 10 years of population change. I think it's kind of cool that my district, District 17, all of Gaithersburg and all of Rockville, has the largest population growth of any of the eight districts in Montgomery County. I think that's because everyone wants to live in Rockville and Gaithersburg, and they know they've got a cool senator. Uh, but we're gonna be redrawing the lines, and most of you, I hope, who are already in my district will hopefully stay in my district. We do have to shave some population, and I will probably need to lose about 11,000 people currently in my district, and they will go to neighboring neighboring districts, but more on that down the road. I want to remind you that you make sure you get your flu shot in the midst of COVID. It's easy to overlook. I've already gotten mine. We all need to try to stay safe and healthy. Look out for information when it's available to you to get a booster shot. Montgomery County leads the nation in our uh, vaccination rates but we can always do better and we definitely all need the booster shot to make sure that those breakthrough cases uh, don't affect us or our loved ones. Last thing I'll mention, uh, I hope you know about my podcast. 
Kibitzing with Kagan. It's on my YouTube channel. It's also on uh, Amazon, uh, on podcasts. That way, too, if while you're driving around, you want to listen, not Amazon, Apple uh, podcast. So check that out. Um, I recently uh, did kibitzing uh, conversations with eight of the Democrats running for governor. They were all engaging and interesting. We have 30 minutes, and it was not a policy conversation. It was about their childhood, their hobbies, their musical preference, and their travel history. Check it out when you get a chance, and follow me on not just on YouTube, but also on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. I'll look forward to seeing you in person before too long. Stay safe and well. Thanks for watching. Take care.